First, press A to select all, and press delete. Now, press the tilde key to open the view pie menu and choose front view. Then press shift plus A and add a cylinder. Zoom in and press tab to enter edit mode. Then press S and then Z to scale the cylinder in Z axis. Hold control to scale up in increments. Click and drag the middle mouse wheel to change the view. Hold alt and select the top edge loop. Then press delete and choose faces to delete the top face. Now press tab to enter object mode. Now let's add a modifier. Open the modifiers tab and add solidify modifier. Go to the front view again, then press alt plus C to enter x-ray view. Now let's add some thickness to the glass. I'm setting the thickness to 0.15 meters. Check the even thickness checkbox to give a uniform thickness. And now apply the modifier to create the actual mesh. Keep the object selected and press tab to enter edit mode. Now, let's create the mesh for the liquid in the glass. First, press Ctrl plus R to make a loop cut on the inner walls of the glass. Left-click once and move the loop cut to the top level of the liquid and left-click again. Then, press Alt plus C to exit X-ray view. Use middle mouse button to view the top of the glass. Now, press 3 to enter face select mode. Hold Alt and left-click to select all the faces of the inner wall. Then, hold Shift and select the bottom face as well. Now, let's add some materials to the object. Open Materials tab and click New to add a new material to the selected faces. Name it as Liquid. Now, press Ctrl plus I to invert selection and select the rest of the glass faces. Then, click the plus symbol and click New to add a second material to the selected faces and name it as Glass and click Assign to apply the second material. Next, let's make the edges rounder. For that, go to the front view, press 1 to enter vertex select mode, and press Alt plus Z to switch to X-ray view. Hold Alt and select the bottom edge of the inner wall, then press Ctrl plus B and bevel the edge loop, then scroll up the mouse wheel to increase subdivisions. Keep them selected and press G and then Z and move up the inner bottom wall to give the base of the glass some thickness. Now, hold Alt and select the bottom edge loop of the glass then press Ctrl plus B to make the base a bit rounder. And finally, press Alt plus C to exit the X-ray view. Now let's make the top edge of the glass more rounded. First, hold Alt and select the outer edge loop and press Ctrl plus B to bevel. Next, hold Alt again and select the inner edge loop and bevel it as well without overlapping with the outer edge. And this is how it looks now. Finally, select the glass and add a subdivision surface modifier to make the mesh smoother. Increase the levels to 2 for more perfection. Then, apply the modifier to make it permanent. Lastly, right-click and shade smooth to make the mesh as smooth as possible. Now that we have our finished model, let's add some glass materials to the object. To do so, click the Material Preview button in the top right corner to enter the Material Preview mode. First, select the object and open materials tab. Then select the material named glass and add the glass BSDF shader. Now set the roughness to 0.120 to simulate a slightly transparent glass material. Next, let's add the second material to the inner walls to simulate the liquid in the glass. So select the material named liquid and apply the glass shader again. But this time decrease the roughness all the way to zero and set IOR value to 1.3 to make it look like a liquid. Now let's add a color to the liquid. I'm adding a blue color. Next, go to the front view. Select the object and press G then Z and move the glass upwards. Then press Shift plus A and add a plane. Then press S to scale it up. And finally, let's render this bitch. To do so, click the Render Preview button and enter Rendered Mode. Now let's add some light. Press Shift plus A and add an area light. Set the power to 2000 watts and size to 10 meters. Now press G and then Z and move the light upwards. Now let's set up the camera. First, go to a good viewing angle using the middle mouse button. Once you are satisfied, press Shift plus A and add the camera. Now press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to bring the camera view to your current viewing angle. Click the camera view lock to adjust the scene a bit. Hold Shift 
and click middle mouse button to drag the glass into the frame. Zoom out a bit. Now, release the camera view lock. And finally, the moment of truth. Open the render properties tab and set the render engine to cycles. And set the device to GPU compute. Then, set the render samples to 50 to speed up the render output. If your goal was to create a single shot glass, you are all set and you can go straight to render image. But if you want to create multiple shot glasses, follow the further steps. First, select the glass and press Shift plus D to duplicate and then press Shift plus Z to move it in XY axis. Once again, press Shift plus D and duplicate again. Adjust the frame as per your liking. Now, select one of the glasses and open materials tab. Then, select the liquid material and click the new material button. This button creates a new duplicate material with all the same properties as the original. Let's change the liquid color to green. Now select the third glass. Then choose the liquid material, make a new duplicate material, and change its color to red. And finally, let's render the image. Open the render menu and click Render Image. You can see the render progress at the bottom. Once the render is finished, click on Image menu and click Save As. Choose any folder and enter the output file name and click Save As Image. Now, to save the project file, open the file menu and click Save As. Choose any folder and enter the output file name and finally click Save As button. Thanks for watching.